Dear Mr. Scott, since I wrote you last, I have heard that you were injured slightly in a railway accident. Is this true? I trust not. If it is, you are not likely to be improved by my letter. If it is not, you will pardon my mentioning the report. In any case, you might send me word and if you can spare the time, perhaps you will come over on Monday. If you cannot arrange this, please inform me from time to time how you are getting on with the a new business to which it appears you are devoting yourself. If it is as successful as you were inclined to think, you will be very fortunate and if it be not quite so profitable as you hoped, it will still have proved an interesting experiment. At all events, it was well worth a trial. At the same time, you should not work too hard. If you do, you must not be surprised to find your health giving way. I have no doubt of the ultimate success of your patent and if it were necessary, I could arrange to invest a considerable amount in the business. I cannot do anything in the matter of the shares you spoke about until I have seen you again. I cannot see that there is any hurry about the affair. If it does happen that the shares are all taken up before I make application, I shall not mind very much. I am trusting, however, that you will be able to pay me a visit on Monday and explain matters. I have been staying with me an old friend who has been out to South America for three years on business matters and I am sure you will be delighted with his conversations 
on the customs and manners of the natives yours truly thomas mackin